Weddings create memories that last a lifetime, but wedding vows likely won't be the lasting memory for a Central Iowa couple. Instead of their first night together as a couple, the wedding night ended with a terrifying trip to the hospital, followed by months of rehabilitation. Our Griffin Wright has this story. Matt and Amy Dykey had a storybook wedding, but when they got back to the hotel, something was wrong. So I went and turned the light, and then that's where I noticed that there was something really different about Amy. Amy was having a stroke. Luckily, her newlywed husband knew the symptoms to look out for. They're easy to remember with the acronym FAST, F, facial drooping. Her face was droopy on her left side. A, arm weakness. Her left side just got weak. S, speech difficulty. When Amy was um, saying how cold she was, her voice got deeper. And T, time to call 911. So I called 911 within two minutes of like when I first started diagnosing it, because with that, with a stroke, you need to call 911 right away. Amy was rushed to the hospital. By then, the damage had already been done, and her long road to recovery had started. I was in the hospital in, up in the stroke unit for about a week, just kind of getting more to the basics, so starting to stand and walk, kind of controlling medication management, starting to eat solid foods again. And then from there, the following week, um, I actually went up to a rehab level of the hospital, and that's where the real work began. Over the course of months, Amy regained the ability she lost. She was lucky. Thankfully, I did have age on my side a little bit, which really helped me recover really well. As you get older, it becomes harder to recover from a stroke. But at the same time, I, I feel lucky that I was around people. I don't know what would have happened if nobody was around me at the time because like I said I was so disoriented that I didn't even know what was happening. Amy's stroke was caused by a carotid artery dissection, basically a tear in the artery in your neck that can block blood flow to the brain. What caused the dissection however could have been anything. It could be anything from like just jerking your head wrong or maybe you went to a chiropractor a long time ago and maybe something happened there. So it just goes to show that a stroke can happen to you at any time, anywhere and at any age and you're not immune to it. It wasn't due to health at all for me. It was like a just a sudden thing that happened. If Matt didn't spot Amy's symptoms the night of their wedding, she likely wouldn't be here today. So remember, if something is wrong with your loved one, think fast. Reporting for WHO 13 News, Griffin Wright. May is National Stroke Awareness Month. According to the American Heart Association, healthy eating, regular exercise, monitoring your blood pressure, and quitting smoking are critical to lowering your risk of having a stroke. We thank them for sharing their story.